Sometimes when making a video, you need the ability to manipulate tone. Knock it off, slow Mobius. Oh, sorry, dude. I'm just trying to show off my powers, bro. So let's make like a stone-wielding time wizard and learn the mantra to easily manipulate time in Adobe After Effects. Now I'm here in Adobe After Effects in a brand new composition and what I'll do is I'll grab our footage and drop it into our timeline. You can see if I preview it, it's this nice drone footage that I shot while over in Western Australia. You can see it elevate up and orbit around this sort of rock face. You see the waves coming in, crashing in, and you can see more of the coastline as it continues on. But it is a bit long at over 30 seconds. And you can imagine if I was editing together a video montage of my time away, 30 seconds is a bit much. So if I was cutting together with music, I'd probably want a way to be able to speed up or slow down all the different layers of footage that I'm working with with relative ease. And that's where this particular expression comes really in handy. So how do we use it? Well, let's right click our layer here. We'll go to time and click enable time remapping and that'll give us the time remap for this particular layer. Now we see the stopwatch here. We're going to hold alt and click on that stopwatch and that gives us our expression window. Now if we backspace to just clear that we can now write our expression. Now we're going to be using a linear expression here. So we'll type linear and then left parentheses. If you want to find out more about the linear expression I have a tutorial all about it. You can see the card pop up at the top right. Maybe check it out after this video. Now, the first thing we need to do is what's going to be determining what's happening in our linear expression. And more often than not, it's generally time. Now, we need to set our min and max values for our linear expression. That's going to be our in point and our out point, like so. And the in point and the out point just refers to where the actual in point of this layer and the out point of this layer is in the scheme of this timeline. Now we'll hit comma and we'll type zero and that's because whatever starts playing we want it to start at the zero point of our footage and then we'll hit comma like so and then this is where we set our final point and this is where we actually do most of our calculations. So we're going to write the word key left parentheses two right parentheses dot time minus key left parentheses one right parentheses dot time and we'll just close off the linear expression with a right parentheses as well and off click and it should give you no errors if it does give you errors there's probably a parentheses missing or a minus or we've forgotten to put that zero in there now the key two and the key one refer to these two keyframes on our actual time uh, layer here or the property and what that is doing is it's manipulating where our in and out point is and making sure that uh, or extrapolating what the actual value should be based on those two points. So to show you an example, we'll drag this forward like so. And we're just going to go here. We'll drag the start point or the in point forward and we're going to drag the out point more in like that. So you can see even if I drag it forward to say 10 seconds, drag it in, now we've got a five second clip. If I go to the start, you can see, well, the in point still looks like the in point. The out looks like, well, the out point still looks like the out point. And if I go ahead and let that preview, you can see already that's sped up a whole lot. If I preview that, you can see now it's all really sped up. It's playing everything as it is. And you can see, I can just go and manipulate this as easy as I want. So if I drag it out, I'll go preview it again. You can see it's going to take a moment to preview there because it's a little bit complicated what it's trying to process. But if I play it back, you can see it's slowed down now. Now, this is really cool expression because it not only applies to footage, but it also can apply to other compositions. And you can also uh, easily grab this copy and paste it onto different layers with their time remap values like that. I can drag this around. I can change it at any speed. I can make it faster, I can make it slower if I wanted to, and easily manipulate the speed of this particular layer. Now one thing I would do is if I was going to be making this slower than the original clip, I would right click and go to frame blending and pick either frame mix or pixel motion, and that'll help it look less kind of staggery 
as it plays back during that. But that's how you easily add in this expression in order to manipulate time, and it makes this layer a whole lot easier to work with when kind of cutting it to different songs. I might move it around, whatever I might want to do with this layer. And that's how you easily manipulate the speed of layers using a simple expression in Adobe After Effects. Now, if you do enjoy these videos, make sure to leave a like and click the subscribe button. While I want to keep all the videos on this channel free, I'm also considering starting a Patreon to support making more awesome tutorials like this. So if you have any ideas as to what perks you would love for supporting this channel, leave a comment below. Until next time, my name is Bench. Thanks for watching.